What's up, everybody? Justin here with my AEW. Yes, it's already time for another AEW uh, big event. I don't know if it, they're calling it a pay per view, but it's a big show. This is my AEW's fight for the fallen predictions. It happens this Saturday, July. Uh, 13th, I think, I think it, I'm pretty sure it's July 13th, Fight for the Fallen, a lot of shows, I mean, coming up to predict, I gotta predict, um, Extreme Rules, I will predict on, uh, Tuesday night, and it will be uploaded on my channel, Evolve 10, the Evolve uh, 10th anniversary is happening on the WWE Network Saturday night. The same exact time as AEW Fight for the Fallen. Evolve in WWE Network and AEW is going head to head. I I love it. I, I love competition. I don't mind. I'm not upset that... They're going to go head to head a lot of times. So, um, anyways, and during uh, All Out, I expect WWE to put something, I don't know, probably a special show or something on the network. They're already doing uh, TakeOver NXT UK TakeOver on the day of All Out. But not at the same time, but still. And I don't blame WWE. They're not going to just uh, lay down. They're not going to just lay down. AEW's doing all these big events. I, If I was Vince, if I was WWE, if I had my own network, I would do the same damn thing. I'd put competition on at the same time on my network. But this is not about WWE or Evolve 10. I'm just saying you got Evolve 10, Fight for the Fallen, Extreme Rules. Uh, August is a big month. Big month for wrestling fans. Big month of pro wrestling. You got SummerSlam, NXT TakeOver, Toronto, uh, All Out. Is an NXT TakeOver UK. So that's a lot of events in uh, the month of August. That's three, That's four big events. And probably also, I'm pretty sure, in August is probably New Japan shows also. I think on uh, the day of All Out, I think New Japan is running a show also. So you have three... Big shows on August uh, 31st, I think. I think that's when All Out is, the 31st of August. Anyways, this is my Fight for the Fallen predictions. I just want to say I'm not going to do every single AEW pay-per-view or big event. I'm not going to do predictions for every AEW show. Especially if, like, they're doing a pay-per-view every month or a big show every month. I'm probably going to skip doing predictions for AEW sometimes. Because in August, and just think about if if they do pay-per-views every month. Sometimes I would have to do predictions for Impact, WWE. Maybe NXT takeovers and AEW. <laughs> That's uh, four companies to do predictions for. Four different brands. And I'm not willing to do, uh, like, I'm not willing to do no four predictions. I'm just not willing to do, like, four prediction shows in one month. I'll do three, but probably not four. So here's my, finally, my Fight for the Fallen predictions. It's a great thing what Tony Khan and AEW's doing. They're giving all the 
I think ticket sales and all the proceeds are going to the victims of gun violence. That's awesome. That is really good. They deserve a round of applause. That is really, really great. Because way too many people, especially in America, way too many innocent people lose their damn lives to gun violence. And uh, nobody should go that way. Nobody should go that way. Ever. So up first, I'm going to predict SCU. The team of Scorpio Sky, Frankie Kazarian, SCU with Christopher Daniels. SCU take on the Lucha Bros. Lucha Brothers, Ray Phoenix, Pentagon Jr. I got the Lucha Bros. I love them as a team. SCU, they're a fine team. I really like SCU, but I'm going with the Lucha Bros as my prediction. Up next, Adam Page. Kip Sabian should be good. Uh, Adam Page should win. That's my prediction. Adam Page. Up next, Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega up against uh, Sema, Oriental Wrestling Entertainment wrestler. Kenny Omega wins, but I believe John Moxley will do a run in and attack. Kenny Omega because they have a big match at All Out and Kenny attacked Moxley at God what was the name of that show I can't remember the name of the last AEW show but um, Kenny Omega attacked John Moxley <sighs> why can't I remember the name of it I don't know but I'm really tired that's probably why so Kenny Omega wins, but I believe John Moxley will appear and do a run and attack him. Uh, a six-man tag. Up next is a six-man tag. That's not good, but it just fell. Mm, six-man tag up next, Jimmy Havoc. Joey Janela, Derby Allen team up. I guess they're all heels. I don't know who's the heel, who's the face. Jimmy Havoc could go either way as a face or a heel. Derby Allen, I think, is a heel. I'm not even sure. But Jimmy Havoc, Joey Janela, Derby Allen against MJF, Sammy Gavallo, whatever the guy's last name is. And uh, Sean Spears, the guy that cracked Cody with the steel chair and busted him open. It was it was an accident, but so what? It wasn't Sean Spears' fault. The guy, how he hit the chair shot on Cody was perfect. It was just, uh, I don't know, Cody like turned his head funny or something. That's how he got cut. So I like the team of MJF. Sammy and Sean Spears to win. They're my prediction. Uh, AEW, every show, they should probably, they don't got to book a damn six-man tag for every big show. They don't. I don't know why they keep doing six-man tags, but stop. Just like WWE, stop doing two out of three falls. My God. So now we have a women's match. I believe. Maybe the only women's match of the show, unless there's one on the pre-show. I don't know, but this is the only women's match for the main show. Fight for the Fallen. The main event show, not the pre-show. Brandy Rhodes against Allie. I predict Brandy Rhodes wins. Final match. Again, I got uh, seven matches that I predicted. There could be another one or two booked or three booked. I don't know. I don't really care. It's uh, Tuesday morning right now. This is when I'm doing my Fight for the Fallen predictions. I predicted seven matches. 
And I don't know if they're going to add more on social media. It doesn't really matter to me. So, uh, again, I got Brandy Rhodes winning over Allie. Now, probably the main event will be the Young Bucks against Cody Rhodes and Dustin Rhodes. Brother versus brothers again. We saw Lucha Bros against Young Bucks. Now we're going to see Cody and Dustin team up for the first time in a couple years since they were in WWE together. It'll be really good to see Cody and Dustin team up in AEW. Uh, hopefully, I just thought I just thought of this uh, earlier today. Hopefully, Cody doesn't turn on Dustin. And beat the hell out of him. I don't think he will. But hopefully he does not. I don't want to see that. They already had their. Uh, bloodbath war. They don't need to be feuding again. So Cody and Dustin. Is my prediction. To win. I really could see. Uh, Sean Spears coming out. And attacking Cody again. Because I'm pretty sure. Sean Spears and Cody is going to happen at All Out. Anyways, my prediction for probably the main event is uh, Cody and Dustin defeat the Young Bucks and win. No Jericho, I don't think. Maybe he'll appear on the show and cut a promo, but I doubt it. No Jericho, no... Uh, I can't, no John Moxley either. In a match. Unless they add them to a match. Unless they add more matches. No John Moxley. And no Jericho in action. Hope you enjoyed my AEW's. Fight for the fall in predictions. I'll be watching it live. And I'll be live tweeting. At WWE NXT guy. If you don't follow me on Twitter. Follow me. If you don't subscribe, please, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Also, like, comment, share, and also subscribe, please. So, I'll be watching Fight for the Fallen on July 13th. I believe it starts my time at uh, 6.30. I believe it's on BR Live, whatever the hell that uh, site is called, BR Live dot com or something it's on the br live app where they would they'll stream it for free i believe it's another free show on their website or their app uh all out is a pay-per-view that is not going to be a free show i really really doubt it it will be free i really doubt it but fight for the fallen is free to watch all you need is internet and you can see it for free and uh, by the way, on BR Live on their website, they had very good streaming quality. It was uh, super clear and it never stopped streaming. It did not freeze or anything. So very good quality from that site, BR Live. And that's like basically the official streaming site of AEW. So hope you enjoy my fight for the fallen predictions hopefully you will check it out and be watching with me on twitter bye for now